Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Henry Davis, and I'm back here with the fourth installment of this um, Serbia in World War One series, where I'm playing as Serbia and trying to conquer the world. Um, so I haven't uploaded in a while just because of um, busyness and lack of Wi-Fi and some other factors. But um, I'm going to get back into this series and try to finish it off. So, um, as we can see here, I'm kind of going to be going after Bulgaria in just a little while. So, if we look at this, I'm going at anti-Austro-Hungarian um, policy. And I'll be going down Franco-German friendship, I think. Um, and, or Franco-Serbian friendship. And um, punish um Bulgaria will be another um thing I'll go for in a little while but I will need to go to war with them first so that'll be the first point of call uh if we look at Bulgaria they're going on bomber focus Greece aviation effort artillery effort just looking at some of the um places in the area so yeah and then if we look here Italy is at war with the Ottomans. So the Ottomans are still being kicked around as we can see just here. So let's get right into it. Um, so at the moment we have very low manpower, um, although it's actually not that low and I've decided to just, I'm gonna be constantly creating one unit and this is that unit. So I'm gonna keep doing that and see how that goes. Because I do want just even a small force guarding this um, front against the Austro-Hungarians. So I think that's relatively important and I'll need eight divisions for that. So I just want to get those eight up and running, put, uh, put them there. And then all of my um, area that's a threat will be secure because... Greece isn't going to attack me, um, I actually have, uh, do I have, no, I don't have an aggression pact, but, um, uh, Greece is an ally of mine, and they're not going to attack me, so, and then if we look at the faction, the Balkan League has been disbanded, unfortunately, so, um, yeah, so we're just hitting, um, April now, and, um, Bulgaria has non-aggression pact with pretty much, pretty much everyone. Um, but, I think they can cancel that when they go to war. I think they're going to go to war with us, because that's what, um, there was a, another Balkan war, but whatever. Um, so, where is Salonika? Oh, is there Salonika here? Okay, no, there's not. Um, anyway, so World War One will take place, and I will be drawn into it. So, before that happens, I really want to get a um, an alliance up with um, France. I think that's very important. So, joining the Entente, especially, I think if I can do that, I can go down this so 70 days 70 days that's again that's like 280 uh, days if I do um, all of that down to there um, does this require both yeah it requires both so that's 350 days and then actually joining the Entente is another 70 days so that racks it up to 420 days until I can join the Entente and that's if I just stick to this. So it's kind of hard to do, I suppose. So, yeah. French arms, delivery, trade relation, trade relations. Improved opinion, improved opinion, okay. So. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Mexican series where I play as Mexico and I try to take over the US. That's just another plan for my channel, um, but at the moment, just kind of considering what videos I can do. So I want to continue with Hearts of Iron 4. 
Um, I'm also going to be doing some Harry Potter videos um, or reigniting that series. So I'm going to finish off the Quidditch team's uh, videos and then start working on... Uh, let's just get some... Uh, actually, no, I don't need them. Um, and then I'm thinking about doing um, some videos where uh, I, you know... Wait, let me just do this. Um, thinking, I'm thinking about doing some videos where um, I rank the movies and I rank the books. Um, but we'll, I guess we'll see how this that goes. So yeah. Uh, do I need it in the Eastern Balkans? I don't think I do. Um, let's add another scout plane and then. Merge air wings. Okay, just getting some air superiority there and then interception, that's kind of important. So that gives me air superiority there. Don't know how long that'll be for, but I do have it for now. Extensive conscription can't get until 40% world tension. And even though I'm staying democratic, which is actually on purpose. Um, it's because I want to um, play this historically and I don't want to, you know, go off what happened too much. Um, so, you know, at some points, at some point later down the line, I could change it, but we'll see. But I'm going to be playing this through till 1918 or until I defeat Germany and Austria-Hungary, which I mean... Playing as Serbia, you can't really have a huge role in doing that, but hopefully I can still play a part and get, you know, 20% war score and we'll see how much we can expand Serbia. So looking at our um, military ground forces, um, 36 divisions, which is, you know, pretty good. And 57 point, uh, yeah, that, that's estimated manpower. Does it tell me how many I have in the field? No, it doesn't. Okay. Um, also, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so, again, just stressing the point that I want to continue with some Harry Potter videos. And if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. And I'll have a look at your suggestions. So, um... In the last episode, I went to war, I'll finish the war with the Ottomans, which Italy is now solely doing. Just look at the details here. They have a few convoys. Uh, quite a lot of manpower, actually. We have more divisions than them, though. And we look at Italy, who really have more divisions, pretty much more of everything, and means the Ottomans don't really stand a chance. Although if we look at their planes, let's look at Germany's planes. Oh my God, that's a lot. France has quite a few. Austria-Hungary has quite a few. And Great Britain has quite a few as well. So I'm not going to be able to get on par with some of these major nations, but I do want to have about 50 planes, I would say is a nice number to have. Um... So at least I have a respectable number of planes that I can, you know, bring to the war if it comes to that. So I think I'm going to add on another military factory to my scouts. Um, Italy won the Italo-Turkish War. Cool. So they gain, historically they gained this area, which... They have, and they also gained, uh, yep, there. Okay, let's pause that, select a national focus. There we go. So if we look at the Ottomans, they have a truce at the moment with Italy and non-aggression pacts with me and some other nations, and they're also... With Hejaz, they hate Serbia, Italy, and France by the looks of things. Yep, they do. So, who does Bulgaria hate? The Ottomans, they like Austria, Hungary. We like Italy and no one else. Cool. 
Greece, just looking diplomatically there like us. Yep, know that. Romania hates Austria-Hungary. Um, so also, recently I've played a mod where you play as the Byzantine Empire, so you control Constantinople, a little bit of the um, this coastline along the Black Sea and the Dardanelles. Um, and you control that, and I recreated the um, Byzantine Empire and it stretched to Germany and to Iran and all of that just um, because in World War II I went with the Soviet Union and then was able to make my own union with France and conquer Germany but um it's not it's it's a pretty good mod and I think I might be do I might play it on this channel but firstly my first priority is to finish this series and start a mexican series so that'll be my first priority let's get some of these um planes into here i'm not going to assign them just yet but i do at least now i have 20 planes which are well, 19, but now I have 20. I had 20. Uh, I have 20 planes, so that's you know it's decent. It's not too bad. Um, especially considering I'm a minor. Or actually, I'm technically not a minor nation, but considering I'm, you know, a minor nation, quite small, don't have many factories. I'm doing quite well, because I mean, compared to the US, like probably upwards of 350 planes. That's quite strong compared to what I can bring to the table. So, just looking at Luxembourg and all of that. So, France doesn't have any forts along this line, unlike the um, the Maginot Line, which is in um, Osses Lorraine. Um, it's the famous line in um, World War Two. Um, that the Germans actually could breach, but in Hearts of Iron 4, it's like if you have a sustainable number of troops there, so say three divisions in each um, territory, it's very hard for the Germans to really do anything about that. Um, like from experience, the Germans weren't able to aren't able to pierce that. It's only when when I've played as Germany when you um, go round. Uh, using in World War One the Schlieffen plan or around Maginot is the option for this uh, for the World War Two. Um, when you use that, you can you can pierce it because you've just gone around the line and captured Paris. But it is a um, pretty good um, sort of uh, line to have, which the French don't have in uh, World War One. Which I mean, Hearts of Iron Four isn't really designed for World War One. Um, it's World War One were trenches along a front, and Hearts of Iron Four. I mean, it's not really designed to just have one front that doesn't move. It's it's a game of like a lot of troop movements, um, and that's why it's best designed for World War Two. Because there are a lot of troop movements, movement, movements, and the front lines did change dramatically. So let's continue the game here. Um, but it's not really made for World War One as such. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do now, I do just want to get this front line up. So I'm gonna add six troops to there, and then that one will get done. So that'll make it. Um, quite good and then once I get to 30,000 men I'm gonna stop producing units because I don't really want to risk that um, risk getting too low in manpower um, but I mean it's not too bad because when we go to war I'm just gonna double it to extensive and I won't be able to get to service by requirement which you know bit sad but I probably won't be able to get to that because Hearts of Iron 4 like the normal version 
when the US joins and the Soviet Union joins, it gets to 100% world tension. But when it's just Austria, Hungary, Germany, Serbia, some small countries like Serbia, um, France, Russia, and Britain, it only stays at about 60, 50% world tension. Because the Ottomans sometimes join, but it's not a normal thing for the Ottomans to join in the game. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to end the recording at the end of July. Uh, it's been a bit of a short video, but um, I'm going to really advance through the game, get to World War One, and then continue, th continue from there, keep recording. And that's kind of be gonna be what I'm what I'm gonna do. If we go here, twenty percent world tension, nine point three generated by Serbia, Bulgaria, second war in the Balkans, yep, Treaty of Belgrade. So, um, mm, Bulgaria has generated a lot of world tension, uh, four point four percent. But I mean. It's mainly been me generating the tension. Um, Mexico, I mean, 0.0%. That shouldn't even be there. Um, but that civil war, I would say, has pretty much come to an end. I mean, if we look at Mexico itself, you know, how many divisions? 15 to 31, six military factories against what? 48 to 120, and that's more military factories. I mean, it's kind of decided already. Because the problem with, um, although the thing is, it is a pretty short front line, so it's kind of not that surprising that they're still alive. But still, Mexico started off in a pretty bad spot, uh, so it's going to change it. To democracy um it started in a bad spot because it was kind of in the center here so these these territories here are not that one just these ones and um yeah because if we go here the territory it's conquered is lighter so it only controlled this territory so kind of had to conquer all that and then it had to conquer that so it wasn't a nice position um for them Okay, let's add these scouts, and let's add this zeppelin, and then I'll combine all of the, all of the air wings. So, we, we're now up to 30 planes, which, not too bad, not great, it's alright, um, and then we'll get, select or merge, there we go. Okay, Western, yep. Scout, okay. Um, so, this is pretty much the end of the video. I'll just pause it right there. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.